Hello everyone, um, welcome to my channel. Hello if you're a returning watcher, viewer, whatever you want to call it. Um, today I'm going to be doing a little review of the um, Thermablend CC Cream Continuous and Correction Full Coverage CC Sunscreen in 50 plus. I got this in 45N, medium to tan one. Um, I went to Ulta a couple of days ago and I decided on that color because I was limited. So we're going to see if it works, okay? Um, let me get my little headband thing. I am going to go in with my Milani SPF. Um, primer in SPF 30, so I'm going to do that really quickly. To go in with this Stila um, Correct and Perfect, I'm going to go with the orange shade. Alright, so we're going to use this now. I'm going to be using a palm brush. Um, this is from Ferro. I really, really like this. I haven't used it in a minute because I kind of forgot I had it. So, oh gosh. I'm going to be using it today and I am kind of nervous because I don't know if this is going to work. So this is what it looks like. What it's looking like it is cloudy outside so i don't know if it's affecting that but this is what she looks like right now um it's weird because on camera it looks a little like it does match but still kind of a little bit dark but if i do like a video it doesn't look super duper dark but yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I do like how it feels. It doesn't feel like super duper greasy, which is really, really good. Um, I don't think I look cakey. I mean, I, mm, I don't know. It's settled and pretty fun. I don't see any, like, Creasing or anything right away. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm all up in the camera <laughs> and I'm starting and I'm still trying to figure out this monitor. But I don't really see it being like a bad everyday foundation. I would have to like you know blend it in because you know like <laughs> certain lighting looks darker, but like. I don't know, I could blend it out with another foundation, but I feel like it would defeat the purpose of what it's supposed to do, so I'm not really going to probably do that. I might get a shade lighter to mix them both, but 
I'll have to see if it's available because I did get 45 in in medium tan so I'd have to see if they have it in stock at my Ulta's because I have two one in my town and one in the other town so I'd have to see but um it is 154 so I will update you guys later today because I have to do chores and stuff so I will report back to you later in the day okay so this is what we're working with almost a whole day but not really it is about to be 10 so I'm not done with this video yet um, I'm gonna go to Ulta tomorrow and we're gonna see if I can find a shade later I'm thinking about 37 in or 40 in um, is what I saw that could possibly be my shade um, so we're gonna see um, I don't think I'll be able to exchange it because I can't find the ticket and I think I threw it away if I'm being really honest. I think I threw it away. So, so yeah. Um, so I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hello everyone. So I am heading to Alt now. Hopefully I find the shade and hopefully it matches. So I will talk to you guys whenever I am at Alt. It, I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna try it out for you guys. So, see you there. Hello. <laughs> okay, hi, hello. That little vlog out of the way now. Um, I did get color matched and I did go with 43 in in medium three since I did get that tested on me and it did work better than 40 in. And that one was medium two, I believe. So I'm gonna try this one out and I will show you guys how it works. I am doing this a little bit later. It is 2.45, so just in time for me to get ready for work. Um, so I'm not gonna put on the orange um, concealer corrector today because I didn't like how it looked without it on. So I'm gonna see if it goes well with my whole face. And yeah. Okay, so this right here, my chin, of course, is going to be different because I always have darker pigmentation in here and it's going to look weird. Um, but change the lighting a little bit, the settings, and this gives a better description or an accurate look at how it looks. Um, yeah, I think this one's a good fit, which isn't far off. Because I did get 45 in, and this one is 43 in. So, yeah, I just have to, you know, fix this little area because, you know, pigmentation. It's always been that way. So, aside from that, I really do like this. I love how it feels. It, like, it gets it where it's supposed to, and I do like that. Um, it blends out pretty well. Like, it looks like it took off a lot of product, but it, it really did what it was supposed to do. It hopefully doesn't seep into my crease lines or anything like that, like right here, in this area, in this area. So, yeah. Um, overall, even though I did put on <laughs> the wrong one yesterday, not by much. But I did really like how it felt, and I do like that it blends in smoothly. It doesn't make me look cakey.
that much, I don't think. It doesn't feel cakey, so I don't compare it to like being cakey if I don't feel it. I might look cakey, I don't know, but I don't feel that way. And I hate feeling cakey, so if I don't feel like I am, even though I might look like I am to other people, I don't mind it because I feel great. I feel good. I feel like it's, you know, good with my skin. Um, so, yeah. Um, I am going to keep this one. And I might give the other one to my cousin because I know she is a little bit darker than me. So I feel like she'll get better use out of it than me. Or my aunt. Either one of those. Either one of them. So, yeah, I really, really do like this foundation sunscreen CC cream. It's a CC cream. What am I saying? <laughs> well, actually, it's a foundation. No, it's not. Yeah, I really do like this CC cream. Um, this is my first time trying Dermal Blend, so I'm really happy with the results. Um, I do plan to use this more so for like weddings or like events or outings or like if I have a date, whenever that happens, you know? And I do know that it is buildable but even with just this amount I do like it so yeah I'm gonna be saving it for other occasions even though I could do this as an everyday foundation as well for days whenever I want to put on makeup but with it being hot as Hades wearing makeup has really not been a part of my day-to-day -day routine um, but I might want, I might incorporate it more since I do have this CC cream. So, and it, it's my right shade. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Um, I finally found my shade, which is great. It took like two days, but it's okay. We made it work. We made it work. Yeah, I hope you guys like this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.